Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Thanks a lot guys for so much love and support. We are the family of 76k now. And if you're here for the first time or you still haven't subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Please click that subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell icon to get the notification for all the updates. Thank you so much. In today's video, I'm sharing full flared front open long jacket. It's very much in trends nowadays. You can pair it with different outfits to create ethnic western or Indo western looks. Perfect for this festive season. So let's get into the video. This is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I'm using this cotton fabric and this is 5 meter of fabric. Firstly, I'll cut the bodies and for that fold the fabric twice in width. Trim the uneven fabric on the top. And I'm leaving 0.75 inch of seam allowance on the top. For shoulder, take half of your shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it would be 6.75 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope. Neck width is 3.5 inch. No, I'll keep it 3 inch. Neck width of jacket should be less than the neck width of garment else your garment will pop out from here for armhole take half of armhole round in my measurement armhole round is 14 inch so half of it would be 7 I'll just extend this point mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point from the top mark shoulder to apex point at 10.5 inch shoulder to waist at 14 inch which is body's length as well leaving 0.75 inch of seam allowance at the bottom I'll just extend these points and now I'll mark the round measurements for chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest is 31 inch. So 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is 27 inch. So 27 plus 3 is 30. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. Now I'll join these points. Leaving 0.75 inch of seam allowance on the sides. And now I'll draw the armhole curve. So marking of bodies is completed. Now I'll cut it. I'll just separate one piece and continue cutting. This will be the back. Now I'll cut the front. I have folded the fabric and I have placed back on it and i've added 0.75 inch of seam allowance at the center as this will be the front open jacket so we need extra fabric to finish the center i'll just trace the front armhole
and now I'll cut it. So I've cut the bodies, now I'll cut the bottom. For bottom, I'm cutting full circle skirt. I already have a detailed video on that. You can check the link in the description box. I have taken four layers of fabric. As you can see, this is directional print and I have kept it facing upwards in all layers. So always take care of the print. It's really very, very important. Now from the top, I'll mark the radius on both sides and in between. To calculate radius, take waist round, add ease and divide it by 6.28. Like in my measurement, waist round is 27 inch. I'm adding 3 inch of ease. So 27 plus 3 is 30. And dividing it by 6.28, I'll get 4.7 inch. So I'll mark point at 4.7 inch on both sides and in between. Leaving half inch of seam allowance. Now I'll mark the length which will be full length of jacket minus bodice length. In my measurement full length is 50 inch and body's length is 14 inch so 50 minus 14 is 36. So from waist point I'll mark a point at 36 inch and I'm adding 1 inch of seam allowance. Now measure the same from the top corner. And this is 41.7 inch including seam allowance and I'll mark the same length till the other end so this is the marking for the bottom now I'll cut it So cutting off long jacket is completed. I'll share its stitching in my next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.